Hey there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Nates and today I want to share a pop-up interaction that's created with zero triggers. Yes, zero. But you knew that because you read the title. But just before I do that, let me tell you about a service I'm really excited about. I just launched, it's called Storyline Audit, where I review your project, give you feedback in a video form similar to what you're watching here, and help you out with your project. So please visit storylineaudit.com and let's connect. Okay, so here's my slide for this interaction here. We have a simple image in the background, four dots that user will click on and a pop-up. And now we put the pop-up in the layer, right? No, we're going with states. I like states. So let's cut this one. Go in circle, select state, paste, put it here on top, done. And now you can just quickly go with the format painter, double click it so it stays on, turned on, and just click on, on all the circles and the selected state gets copied over, which is fantastic. Preview. And I can click on all of these and they appear. Fantastic, done, and we can go and have a drink, right? No, we want to make this nicer. We want the pop-ups to disappear when you click another circle. So let's tweak, tweak things here and it's gonna look much better and, and much better, just double better. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is we want to have some animation when you click. So it's just, it's not just like a pop-up. We want to be smooth. So float in from the top. You could go with fade, but uh, I like this effect here. You're, you're gonna see. Float in from the bottom. Okay, so float up, yeah. And then also exit animation. So when this state is not selected anymore, we want these boxes then to fly away. So we're gonna go float out, float up, and float out, down. Done. And now because this is uh, the same object that's in the other states, we can again use Format Painter. That's really good. And now we can preview. Just let's let's check out the animation. So like that, like that, and if I click again, it flies away. There's a small little detail we'll fix. I want, the, I want this triangle to fly in from behind the circle. I don't like it's coming over it. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So again, bam, send to back, done, format painter, preview. Yeah, that's much nicer. So what can we do that only one of the circles is selected at once? I know some of you are already screaming at the screen, so let's do it all together. Button set. So let's just select circles, right click, button set, button set one, preview. And now one is selected. When you click, the other one gets back to normal and only this one is selected. That's what button set does. Only one item at a time. Okay, fantastic. Now, there's just one little detail. I want to click in the background and have it all disappear. Like, so if this one is selected, I click in the background and it, the pop-up disappears. So how can we do that? We could change all the states back to normal, but uh, I want to do something else. So here in the background, background, I have a dark, transparent black rectangle. What I'm going to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this overlay, let's edit the selected state, selected state, I'm going to put this overlay in my button set, button set one already selected because I've done this before. So now when we preview, I click here and then I click in the background and now the background gets selected, it looks the same because it's the same uh, object, there's no difference there. Uh, and that's how you can create it so it disappears when user clicks in the background. There's just one little detail I don't like about this. It's that it's a hand. Like the hand is then seen all the time here in the background, the hand cursor. Um, and I think that's 
it looks weird. I like it feels like okay, I can click something, but there's actually nothing there to click, and it's all over the place. So here's the trick. The trick that you can do: we'll insert a hotspot like this, and we're gonna put it under the circles and just over the overlay, like that. And now we're gonna add a trigger. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just one trigger, just to make things nicer. And we're gonna say change state of overlay to state selected when user clicks hotspot. Okay. And now there's just one little setting that's great with the hotspot. You right click and you say show hand cursor and hover. You don't want this. So there's no hand cursor. That's why I like hotspots in, in situations like that. So in this case, there's no hand cursor. I click here. Nice. I click again. It disappears. You know, it feels like, it feels like, I feel like that, that that's how tablets work these days. You know, some things pop up, you click in the background, that thing disappears. So here you go. Simple interactions. <laughs> Almost zero triggers. And uh, yeah, please visit storylineaudit.com and let's connect. Have a great day.